Noxed content, what is that? I don't know where I've been for the last however many years, but I've never heard of any of these Noxed things. Noxed content, Noxed UI, Noxed... Okay, yeah, those two. So I've never heard of any of this, but I feel like these aren't new things. So I don't know, as I said, I don't know where I've been or what I've been doing, but there's a Nux modules page and it's got like official modules. And I've seen Nux UI and now this Nux content and it looks good and it looks useful. Considering I'm about to start using Nux for an actual content based website, marketing website, I thought I might as well look at this and see what it's all about. So yeah, this is it. So let's start at the beginning, get started. We'll make a, um, a blank Nux project and have a look and see what it's all about and try and do something with it. This is all very new to me, so bear with me. Okay, right. So last time when I did Nux UI, I didn't use this um, pre-built new project with the module in. But you know what? I'm gonna do it exactly how I did it with Nux UI. And I'm just going to create a brand new Nux project and then I'm going to add this Nux content to it. So be right back because it takes about an hour to I'm, I'm exaggerating. I'll be back anyway. It takes a little while. Increase the speed of the installation by staring at the progress bar. Stare at it. Stare at it. It will go faster if you stare at it. It's frozen. Okay, so that's finally installed and I've adapted it slightly so that we can have pages. So I've put Nux page in the app.view and I've just created an index page. So that's where we're at. Let's now go back to Nux content and see what we've got to do to install that. So this is the installation page. So we're not gonna use this bit, we're gonna add to a project. So we just do this. We have to run this command. Let's clear that. Okay, run that, it might take a while again. Stare at it. Okay, that's installed and we need to add this to the modules in nux.config and it's already there. So it must just add that when it does the installation. Okay, that's good. Let's have a look then at what this is actually about. If you go to the Nux content homepage, there's an amazing video that shows what it can do. I don't want you to click off this video and look at that, but it is worth looking at. Basically, it looks amazing. The things you can do with this, it's just incredible in terms of, I'm too stupid to explain it. So let's just actually have a go ourselves and try and do it. So it works using Markdown. I don't really know anything about Markdown, but the video they have made it look really simple. I'm just gonna copy some of these examples um, so we can see what it's all about. So place your markdown files inside the content directory in the root directory of your project. So does that exist or do I need to make that? So no, it doesn't. So we need to create that. So let's go make directory. Uh, what did they say? Content, content, content. I think it said content. And what did it say? Let's just make an index.md. Okay, content. New file, index.md, and then it had like a hash and hello world. So that's something to do with markdown that hash, I'm pretty sure. So rendered pages. Oh, interesting. So you put content doc instead of what I've done, which is Nux page, I think. So to render content pages, add a catch all root. Oh, interesting. All right, so I did need to do what I did. So look, let's make this slug.view file in pages. So basically, let's get rid of what I've done. Let's delete that index.view. So delete, and we're gonna make this instead, new file. And if you don't know, that dot 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 slug, basically it will take whatever you have it in the uh, URL. So, so let's just say your website forward slash home and it will allow you to access that route in this file. That makes sense, hopefully in a bit. So let's just add this to it, okay? Um, and hopefully now that'll work. Restarting, okay. Wow, that's worked, okay. I mean, obviously it would work because I've just copied what they put, but that's interesting. So that's good. Writing section. Okay. Should we just go through this? That's quite good, isn't it? To go through this. We can learn together. That's fun, isn't it? So content directory. So this is what I was talking about. Look, because we've got that slug file, we can just create all of these pages and they will 
come out through this content doc. Don't worry too much if that's confusing. It doesn't actually matter. It's just it's, once you've got it working, you can work with it. And then the more you work with something, it will just kind of make sense to you. Like it's easy to get bogged down in stuff that really doesn't matter. Like you don't need to understand why things work. If you need a tool that you need to make a website with, as long as it's working, that's the most important thing. I know it's nice to understand things and it can help with doing certain things, but the learning can come after you've got used to working with it. I just want to make something. Let's just go to Markdown. So what is this all about? So basically, look, this is all Markdown stuff. So when you have like these dashes and let's just put this in here and see what happens. Pop this in the page. So in our index. I'll leave that hello world there. I don't know if that's going to affect it, but. Oh, so I'm guessing. So that'll be the title and the description. So these were, oh, wow. Okay, so the meta tags. So I'm guessing this is Markdown. I don't know much about Markdown, but I'm guessing anything between these dashes is going to be meta tags. So let's have a quick look at the source. Hmm, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe it needs to be at the top of the page. This is an example of why you should read things, but I've got a feeling that's going to work. Oh, okay. Ooh. Yeah, look. So that's the meta tags. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's have another look. By now, we've barely looked at it and you should be hopefully realizing how powerful this is. If we just wanted to make a website and we wanted a few pages, we just make an about page here and then we can just do exactly the same thing. Let's get rid of that slug. We don't need to see that. So you can say about, that's the about title, meta description for the about page. And we can say about page. What you're realizing as well, you need to learn Markdown if you don't know it already. There you go. So Markdown is this, all these little symbols and things here that let you have one file with all your content in it and it just outputs it to the page nicely. What I want to get to and what I saw in the video on the, the uh, Nuts content homepage is using components. It looks absolutely ridiculous how good it is. View components. Okay. Oh, all right. So you have to make a content directory within the components. All right. Let's do that then. Let's do that. Let's do that. So we've got components, new folder, content. Let's actually go to Daisy UI and use something from Daisy UI. That'd be quite fun to do, I think. Let's just install this quick. Oh, I need to install Tailwind as well, of course. This obviously isn't a Daisy UI or Tailwind video, but it's just got a way of creeping its way in, hasn't it? Okay, I've installed Tailwind and Daisy UI. Let's have a look at just making a component. Let's do this one, alert. Okay, so we've got our components folder and we've got our content folder within that. So we're going to make an alert within this content folder. Dot view. Paste that in. And we're just going to replace this text for a slot. Oh, do you know what? Silly boy. Need to put template tags, obviously. Okay, now I'm going to replace that with a slot. So, da -da 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 -da. Ooh. Uh, okay, so we do these colons. So we're going to paste that into our, we'll do this on the about page. So let's go, let's paste that there and change card for alerts and content of the alert. Let's save that, see what happens. Now, is this because I haven't installed Daisy UI properly? Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that's good, isn't it? Okay, interesting. That is so good. Do you know how much I faff around with WordPress? WordPress is great, by the way, and it's good for the use case I use it for. So on my blog, I obviously write a lot of content, so it helps with that. I'm not sure if I would want to use Nux content for my blog, where I'm doing lots and lots of content. Although thinking about it, would it be that big a deal? Probably not. What I'm interested to see is what else we can do, or if that's basically the gist of it, because I don't really know what else. So what's all this? This will be inside the description slot. Oh, so that would be, is that for name slots? Yeah, name slots, okay. That's interesting. So, okay, you don't need to see that. We get the point. You can nest components. So you can kind of see what you'd, what you'd be able to do with this. There's a lot, there's a lot here. Very interesting, I'm sure. 
Um, so there's a lot you can do with this. This would make life easy for writing a blog or something like that, or just a website where you've got content. Like I've mentioned previously, I am going to be making a marketing site using Nuxt and obviously marketing site needs content. So this makes sense to use. So this is good. This is very good. Um, I can't be bothered to do a whole website right now, but you can see why this is good and how this is good. I don't know why I've never heard of this. I feel like Nuxt need to work on their marketing. Like I've made videos about Nuxt, so I'm kind of, I'm aware of it. Nuxt that is, but I've never heard of Nuxt content. I never heard of Nuxt UI until very recently. I don't know how long these things have been around. Maybe not very long. Maybe that's why. I feel like maybe they should uh, pay some people that make YouTube videos to make more YouTube videos about these sort of things. Pay me money just to raise more awareness of it. Obviously nothing to do with me wanting to make money. I just want the community to grow. It's not about the money at all. Not about the money at all. Okay, the end.